Well, during a conflict, cyber warfare can be as powerful as weapons used on the ground. While it's unlikely that Hamas alone has the capability or expertise to conduct sophisticated cyber attacks, its direct sponsors such as Iran and its rival Israel most certainly do. Joining us live now is Dr Mart Norma, Director of NATO's Cooperative Cyber Defence Centre of Excellence, a multinational and interdisciplinary cyber defence hub. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. As we all watch on at the horrors of the Israel-Hamas conflict, just share for us how intertwined defence and cyber security is these days. How much of an advantage does a technologically savvy country have in war? Yes, I think cyber, uh, cyber defence definitely uh, has plays a, plays a very important role in modern conflict. But still we see that it's not like 21st century wars uh, around us, but a lot comes, reminds like uh, wars 100 years ago, where uh, the objective of, uh, of uh, at least one side is just to demonstrate enormous killings and kinetic effects and explosions. And I'm not sure that uh, cyber warfare is in, uh, really in their toolkit. How hard is it for the international community to verify what actually happens on a cyber level? Obviously, we're all being fed propaganda from all sides of the conflict. It must be difficult to grapple with the misinformation we see in the cyber world. How important is that in terms of countries' cyber defences to be able to weed through that sort of misinformation? That is correct that uh, in modern war warfare, quite often uh, cognitive effects and uh, information uh, warfare is uh, even more uh, important than kinetic effect on the battlefield. So here and at the Australian Cyber Conference also, there is a lot of discussion about how to keep our nations uh, safe from that kind of cyber attacks. And our NATO CCD COE definitely works together with all nations. And I'm very happy that Australia is about to become a member of NATO CCD COE, so we could all work together to mitigate the risks of uh, information warfare and cyber warfare. Dr. Norma, more broadly, we've all heard the warnings that AI could become a threat to civilization. From a defence cyber perspective, how dangerous do you think AI could be? How worried should we be? Absolutely. AI is one of the technologies everybody is uh, very carefully uh, looking at. And uh, while it is definitely a very strong attack tool in the toolkit of uh, cyber activists or nation states, uh, more kind of complex um, attackers, at the same time it also provides quite a good uh, defensive capabilities for our nations. So definitely all of our, our nations are looking into more investments into uh, AI-based cyber defence tools. The chiefs of the Five Eyes Security Partnership, which includes Australia, are meeting today. I see that the FBI director, Christopher Wray, who's convened that meeting, he's saying that the Chinese Communist Party uh, cyber attacks have increased, he said, 1,300% over the past several years. He describes the scale of the threat from China as being unprecedented. How would you ca characterise the, the China threat? So obviously everybody understands there is a global competition and uh, China here is a strong player and uh, they use uh they use some, uh, some uh, uh, tools uh, in these competitions that uh, I would say for the, our nations would not be acceptable. And uh, this kind of uh, 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 accepting uh, intellectual property and uh, intellectual property theft is uh, something that we wouldn't do. So using cyber tools uh, to support uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, strive to uh, get uh, unauthorized access, uh, authorized access to our intellectual property, something that uh, we have seen a lot. So China, as they say, has moved from being defensive into confidence, so that they can outmaneuver, um, let's say, uh, democratic nations uh, in uh, wherever they want, because they feel they are focused and we are dispersed. And our challenge here is to now to uh, uh, 
make sure that our diversity is the basis for innovation and together we can bring uh, on more innovation in all uh, aspects including uh, cyber security and that's why conferences like Australian uh, uh, Cyber Conference are very important uh, to bring these people together to uh, uh, brainstorm, to innovate, uh, to uh, be prepared for the future. Dr. Mark Norma, in Melbourne for that cyber conference, really appreciate you joining us live and bringing us your views. Appreciate it. Thank you.